guys, it's Lee here. Today I'm going to start on the first part of my Makeup 101 tutorial. And the first thing I'm going to talk about today is going to be about foundations. Foundations are so important. It's pretty much your face is a blank canvas. And in order to start adding on more makeup for your eyes and everything else, you need to make sure that you have the perfect foundation for the perfect event that you're going to attend. Foundations are pretty much very important. In order to figure out what works best with you, you need to figure out what type of skin tone you actually have. Anything, anyone with cool tone will actually have more of a pink undertone pretty much. They're kind of pink, pretty rosy, whereas those who are warm skin tones have more of a golden apricot, kind of yellow uh, skin tone underneath. Um, one of the tests you can check on is the vein. Pretty much go ahead and look at the wrist part or your arm and if you look at your vein, you see more of a blue vein. Your color of blue, is, then it means that you're a cool tone. Whereas if you see your veins and it's kind of greenish color, then you're actually going to be a warm undertone. But for me, I actually have both colors. When I look in there, I have a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, so that makes me more of a neutral color. Another test you can do is um, pretty much hold up an article of clothes uh, a silver and a gold and when you hold it up to yourself do you look better in a silver or do you look better in gold and once you figure that out the next thing you need to know is for um, coverage how much coverage do you want for your foundation how much of your real skin you want to see pretty much underneath your foundation sheer is pretty much like a tinted moisturizer if you ever use any of that it's pretty much using a lotion on your face that has a slight color to it and when you actually put it on it doesn't cover much of your imperfections, but it does kind of even out your skin tone. And with that, it's more of a natural look. Um, I usually wear medium coverage. Medium coverage is uh, for those who want a little bit more coverage to all of my imperfections. For example, these, I don't know if you can tell the freckles I've had on my face. Pretty much, I've had these since the fifth grade. I don't want to totally cover my freckles because I do like them because it brings a little bit of character to my face. But uh, for people who like a little bit more coverage, that's actually full coverage people. And full coverage are those who, when you put on the foundation, it looks, it covers practically almost all of your imperfections. You cannot see any of my freckles or anything like that. And when you look really close, it's actually a little bit thick. So um, there are people who actually like that. So it's up to you whatever type of coverage you like. There are actually many finishes to foundation. There are things such as uh, something that is uh, natural you put it on it's kind of like tinted moisture you put it on it looks natural to your skin tone you cannot see any makeup on you um another type is luminous coverage luminous coverage is our foundations in there they have kind of like a shimmer in it and they tell you that it will help brighten your skin so when you wear those kind of foundations on you can see that your skin glows from it and the next kind is going to be a dewy finish dewy finish is when you look at your skin, you put it on, it's kind of like when you put on your moisturizer and when you're done with it, it's not wet, but it's not dry. It gives you this semi-wet, I can't say that semi-wet, it's like a, I guess you could say that, semi-wet coverage. And that is not recommended for those with oily skin because once you have that on, like I said, with the luminous, after a couple hours, it looks even more oilier. The final finish is actually going to be a matte finish, which I prefer. But um, for the matte finish, it's when you put it on and there's no oiliness, no shininess, and it looks kind of like a powder finish. It's actually great for those who have uh, some oily or combination oily skin. Now on to the next top is topic. It's going to be about uh, the types of foundation there are. The first is going to be liquid. This is my favorite foundation makeup forever. I love using this because it's actually very buildable and it can be from something that's sheer or I can just use it straight from the bottle which gives it a more medium cover. The second type of foundation is actually a cream base. It comes in a lot of compacts, a lot of forms will come in compacts and it'll go from a cream to powder finish. That's what they label it as. But for creams, I believe that's really great for those with uh, drier skin. The second type of foundation is actually a cream base. Creams are like pretty much when you, it comes in a lot of compacts, a lot of forms will come in compacts and it'll go from a 
cream to powder finish. That's what they label it as. But for creams, I believe that's really great for those with a uh, drier skin because when you put it on it's not as dry as something that's a powder because it does have a little bit of moisture to it the next type is going to be powder powder i believe um like my mac studio fix oops this is a powder form for other instances i do like to carry uh, powders around just in case because i can't carry a bottle of liquid around me all the time to touch up during um the middle of the day and with the powder, you have to be really careful because um, your skin needs to be really moisturized. If it's not moisturized and it shows um, a little bit of dryness when you put the powder on, you can actually see it um, show all your dry spots and that's not very appealing at all. So remember with powders, make sure your skin is nicely moisturized and uh, primed. The final type is actually going to be a mineral powder, which I have. For uh, bare minerals, the great thing about it is that it doesn't have any talc in it. Talc, T-A-L-C, talc, and with that, um, it usually irritates a lot of people's skin. So if you have really sensitive skin, you can use um, bare minerals. Finally, you need to figure out the type of skin that you have. And dry skin, your face feels really tight. Those with drier skin tends to get more wrinkles. Or fine lines easier than those who are more oily skin so pretty much make sure you keep your skin moisturized if you are dry skin the other side of the spectrum is actually going to be oily skin people it happens a lot with um, pretty much teenagers that's how they get a lot of acne and things like that so it produces your skin produces too much oil in the sebum I don't know what you call it one of those technical terms and you have to be really careful because some people can be really sensitive too so if you're dry sensitive or oily sensitive that makes the matter a little bit harder and makes you have to do a little bit more research to find what's perfect for you like me i'm actually combination oily so it's kind of normal slightly drier around my mouth during the winter time but during summer time it gets really oily around my t-zone so i have to be a little bit more careful so with me, that's why I've been using the Makeup Forever for like a year or two because they have so many colors, such a wide range of colors and skin tones for this foundation. And mine, I chose number 123. It's because it's for lighter, um, I guess light medium skin with a olive tone. And you're wondering, what the heck is olive tone? It means that I have a yellow base, a warmer skin tone. However, my undertone is has a greenish tint to it. Once we determine all this, I'll just show you my basic foundation regimen, how I, how I do it. I have all my eyes on and my lipstick. You know, usually these go on after my foundation. But since today for the video, I decided to just put all this on and not have any foundation on. That's why you can see all of my blemishes and everything like that. So um, I guess let's get started. The first thing I do is, a lot of people have different brushes. Some like the flat foundation brush, some like the stippling brush, which I know I don't have time to uh, wash my brushes, so sorry about that. And I just use a stippling brush for the last, what, three or four years because it does give you that airbrush look until I found this, which is my favorite foundation brush. And this is actually from Sigma, the HD flat top kabuki brush I guess HD brush and this I love it so much because it, it's super dense so it doesn't like suck in all of your foundation and, you know just keep it in here and it's wasteful so, and so with this pretty much I can just buff my color in it's kind of like a, a it is like a kabuki brush but it's just more dense and I love this brush so I would some, a lot of people like to squirt their foundation on their hands but I just like to use the top of my cap the cap the top top cap of my foundation so pretty much I'll squeeze this in on here a little a bit of a dot and since it's winter time I like to add this elixir to it to make it a little bit more hydrating because I don't want dry spots on my face so I'll take it out squeeze this on top I already have on my moisturizer so I'm just gonna prime my face I think a primer is super important because 
it pretty much um, you know get, makes your skin really smooth. It covers all of your smooths out all of your pores, and it keeps your makeup lasting on there much longer. So after I prime my face and everything's nice and dry, I will take this cap that's already mixed using my flat kabuki brush and put it on my face and I feel like with this I can really buff it on my face but I recommend recommend getting this brush it's only I think like $16 or $18 it's such a great quality brush which I love let me tell you my secret whenever I do go out at night I like using this HD because it doesn't have any SPF because you cannot have any SPF in your makeup when you go out at night, especially when you know you're going to take pictures because SPF gives you that white ghostly cast and you do not want that in your pictures. So I do this and since I know that I am going to uh, maybe have a couple of wine glasses or anything like that and pale out, I will use two different colors of foundation. I'll use this, the lighter one, the normal one I wear every day, and a slightly darker shade. And with that, I'll put the lighter shade all in the middle of my face. And the darker shade, I'll actually put it on the outside of my face to give it more of a uh, dimension to it. And when I, you know, after I drink and stuff, my face won't look like all white or here, like a white floating head. So that's the secret to it. Once this is done, everything's dry, I can set my powder with, I mean, set my face with a powder. And this helps keep the foundation in place and it'll um, prevent any, lessen the oiliness that's in like, especially my T-zone or hair, so. Well, pretty much this is the end of the video. I hope that you've learned a lot of basics to foundations. And foundations are super important. It is the basis to all of your makeup. Without a great foundation, you know, your skin tone will not look even. And what's the point of getting your eyes and lips and everything done? You know, make everything look pretty if your skin looks really bad. You always have to try out many, many foundations until you find the perfect one that works for you. And with me, oh my god, I've learned, I've tried Chanel, I've tried high end, I've tried low end, and it takes forever. And finally, I found the foundation that works best with my type of skin. It doesn't make me too oily, it gives me the perfect coverage that I do like. So good luck with you and your foundation. And let me know if you have any other questions. Leave it in the comment box below. And I'll try my best to answer your questions and help you out because every girl deserves to have the perfect, you know, type of skin, whatever it is that you are aiming for. So that, you know, you look great, you make yourself feel great, whatever it is. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye. at home from work so pretty much I am going to start cooking dinner before I start my videos tonight prepping dinner tonight I have my recipe some fresh flowers every week and here are my ingredients gonna make some lamb chops tonight yum yum lamb chops that are done we cooked it and then I'm gonna put some salad dressing have it now that I'm done with my makeup, without any foundation on, which you can see my freckles, time for the outfit. Gotta go pick out the outfit. This? Okay, I think so. This necklace. Perfect. My hair. And my makeup. I used a blue underneath my eyes, so hopefully you like it. Thanks for watching!